You had to do it, didn't you? You had to like that video, we got the like goal, and now I have to do another part for Mali. Well, let's do it. <laughs> My name is Ludi and today we'll be doing Abu Bakr's ambition. This achievement is based on Abu Bakr's supposed travels to the new world, albeit his ships never return back to Mali, so his faith is unknown. Getting four colonial nations in the new world is going to be turning this Mali game in a potential world conquest. Now we are very far behind with our admin tech, we actually have still admin tech 3 as we have conquered all of these sub Aaron parts extremely fast but now we have no enemies we have peace in our times so all we need to do is focus on restoring Mali to its former glory let's make Mali great again guys first thing we are gonna do however we're gonna disinherit Sir Marcus here as our heir actually gives us an extra two admin points that means we can get this technology faster because of them we have spawned in all the institutions so we are not getting any debuffs from that and if you're wondering how did we get to this point check the link in the description now we can adopt the title of Wiz Khalifa again denounce the sect practices and enforce religious unity once more and we will start building a fleet especially the light ships we really need and we also can descend this mercenary company since we don't have any more manpower for it so it's actually just draining our economy for no particular reason there you go now we're on the plus with our economy and that means we can increase some of this money so we can get rid of the corruption that we have as well as continue converting Converting the foot fetishist into uh, Sunni Muslims. Looks like we managed to get a very balanced air, and uh, we also managed to get tech four, which means we're very close to get the next technology. Now I'm also going to be building a few extra light ships as well, even if I'm going a little bit over my naval force limit. And I'm also going to be standardizing my armies. I need to have 16,000 infantry with 4,000 cavalry eventually. Through the power of editing, we managed to skip ahead, and we now have exploration ideas as well as our first conquistadors, Malian conquistadors, boyos. That also means we can get our first explorers. And after we've gotten this bad boy, wow, he's actually quite decent for once. We now can start exploring. We'll begin with the West African coastline and work our way from there. Sadly, we still have rebellions in our country. And one more thing you need to know is you want to lower the autonomy whenever you have it available, as it means you're going to get more money and more manpower from your province provinces once you've done so. By lowering autonomy, we got one extra ducat, and it looks like our explorer is finished. Let's continue with the West African Sea at this point, whilst at the same time we are converting our country to Sunni. We will be finishing off Timbuktu as well. No more Timbuktu around. Leave these guys over here. We don't need to siege with the entire army. Just 3,000 is more than enough. And we started exploring the coastline here, which means we likely will be able to assign our first colonist in the Brazil parts from the beginning South Atlantic let's explore that as well oh boy we got the horrible event of Portuguese meddling we can get until the end of the game minus 10% trade efficiency or we get one stability and quite a little bit of unrest in our provinces but it is a temporary unrest so we're gonna go for the stability Timbuktu has been sieged which means we can actually annex them right now and also we've gotten our first colonists so now we can actually colonize the new world let's see if we have the range for any of these provinces here it would seem that we do not have the range so we need to wait for the next idea we also got to go for native repressive policy and actually we might have the range after we explore this coastline of brazil so let's assign our ships over here to explore the atlantic south american coastline oh wow seriously just 20 out of our range for real there is a chance that we get a colonial range advisor but it's a pretty small chance so i'm just wait for the uh, next idea in the meanwhile i can start colonizing this area here so I can get the trade centers in the Ivory Coast. Just as I arrive, rebels are already in the Cape Coast, which is why I am actually going to attack and kill the natives. It is going to cost me a bit of military points, but it is worth it because I get rid of these really annoying natives over here that otherwise would rebel every five freaking seconds. Also, because we've discovered Castile, guess what? They are now our rivals and equals, and we're going to send them a scornful insult to remind 
remind them of that fact. Also, don't forget to keep on investing in your buildings. We're literally getting 20 ducats right now because we've invested a little bit in our buildings. And we still have level 2 advisors. Actually, I'm going to promote some of these guys. I'm going to get this level 3 guy. And I'm also going to promote the uh, discipline advisor. A special event has triggered that will spawn in the nation of Ashanti. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting claims and killing off Ashanti in a few moments. We've also managed to get the colonial range so we can call back this colonist from here. And we can send him over to the new world. We can start colonizing the Brazilian lands as well as send some of our troops over there to kill off the natives. 5,000 should be more than enough. We can even get a conquistador so that we can explore all of the new areas in the new world. One of the easiest ways to explore the new world is just hitting the hunt for the seven cities button that lets them do their own thing so you don't need to micromanage all of this all the freaking time. Make sure you do have enough troops in your army however as sometimes you will have to fight the natives. Let's also go for military trek 7, noise that means we got cannons now and we can now go for the high income since we can start building a lot of manufacturers around. Imagine exploring the Mediterranean basically reverse colonialism right here boys. If you set your army to auto explore the new world you will eventually encounter the event of fountain of youth that gives you some money and until the end of the game in this particular province some massive boost so if we do colonize Louisiana for example in our game this is going to be extremely powerful we will of course eventually get to this place it's also time for Ashanti to be a Gandhi as well as we can debase our currency a little bit here so we get some money and then we can use the interaction to lower our corruption that we gained from debasing the currency these boys are pretty much done and that means we can just carpet siege them right now noise with the Shanti integrated we just need to worry about the coastline here which sadly it looks like the Castilians have started to colonize this but just because they started doesn't mean that they will be able to finish it it's gonna take them a very long time to do this one of the rarest events to trigger the colonial charter if we have our own colonies or better yet if we're a colonial power we can get this event and it's gonna spawn colonialism in a province it will cost some diplo points and some money but overall it's actually quite good since now we have colonialism and the province of Benin that means that it's gonna start spreading all around the rest of our country now we've gotten our second colonist and instead of assigning him to the new world we have sent him over to the border with Congo because we will start making our way into the South African part of the world otherwise the Castilians and the other colonial powers might reach this area before us and we don't want that to happen we still are keeping one of our armies to protect the homeland and kill off the rebel scum whilst the other army is gonna be uh, killing everything in the, the south parts our first self-sustaining colony in the new world noise that means we can start killing off all the natives around here so let's start getting some claims on them and we can colonize the rest of the adjacent areas in this particular region we're gonna bring back our boys from the south here so we can kill off the natives in Parnaiba whilst this is happening Congo seems like it needs a little bit of uh, help becoming a civilized nation and we will give them this aid for our African brothers from the south will be emancipated hey we even managed to get the colonial range guy that means we can now directly colonize uh, the Caribbean areas we're gonna use the allies of Congo as a prestige farm to get a little bit of prestige out of them and Congo itself we will actually just vassalize since they have a ton of cores in the area here on Chalkway that we definitely can make use of in fact let's use these cores right now sir reconquest of whatever and both of these we can cobblage I guess it's time for a little bit of war gonna be careful don't want to have my armies wiped out but they are still pretty much primitive nations so I should have better technology than them always bait your enemies into favorable terms for example I'm baiting these guys over here to fight on my terms in Kasanje and they cannot get enough reinforcements in time which means we're definitely gonna win this battle and stack wipe their army now to stack wipe the rest of the Alliance armies as the main boy doesn't have any more troops and hey what do you know we can even get the next military tech so we're now ahead of tech by four Four years well 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 we meet again a leaders of Kasunje mighty warriors and pretty much nation that has gotten stack and vibe twice by my amazeball troopers here okay seriously 71% and this still has not fallen for real right now they've even managed to recruit an entire army in the meanwhile that I've been waiting to siege this freaking city down finally it's out and we can now focus on their army another thing
thing we are doing, however, is we are going to be colonizing the pathway between us and Morocco, and we will be killing the natives, as always, in good old Malian fashion right here, since uh, we want these guys to be our main culture also. Now that that's done, you guys can come back home, and in the new world, we got a new favorite sport. It's called Kill the Natives. If you kill 100 natives, you get 2,000 points. So let's see how many natives we can destroy in this game. Alright boys, we sacrificed 79 goats and this should be enough for the battle that we have ahead of us since they have almost the same amount of troops as us and we get minus one from attacking in Highlands. We got this boys. Darya go. This is our land my boy. This is our land. And we also managed to siege down the native lands in our quest for freedom for everybody in the new world of course. Do not run away from freedom please. Do not run away. Because the nation of Kazambidamb is uh, actually too far and we cannot take their lands but we want their lands we are going to vassalize them of course coalition wise nobody that is actually important would join in this also means that afterwards we can pretty much fully annex all of this area minus a couple of provinces the bottom line with these kind of wars is that even though you get a lot of ae nobody is going to care about it if they don't exist anymore just think about it boys if they don't exist how can they join in a coalition then they can really Speaking of not existing, everybody knows that the world was full of nothing when the colonial nations arrived. Yeah, I said it. There was no natives around here, okay? You have proof of natives existing prior to this. So now let's make sure the natives that never existed don't unsiege this before we get... Oh lord, please tell me I'm gonna... Ma I made it. I made it in time, boys. And I stack wiped them as well. That means we can uh, take out these final province they got in Paraibas. Can I piece them out now? No, I need to actually take this province. Fair enough no problemos we definitely can do that there you go now there's no more natives in this area at all because well they as i said they never existed kind of like the fact that uh whenever you take native lands in the new world they have a lot of development now so essentially you get a bunch of free development in your capital as well from concentrating the last of the free congo tribes is also subjugated and we've given some of the provinces to uh the nation of congo because it is actually their course here but we're also going to be giving the rest of this to both Congo and Kazembe. Split it up in half and half. We also gave out the strong duchies. That kind of helps us out with keeping these guys in check. We can sell titles and seize land as well. And let's see. Kazembe, you look like you want to have some free provinces to make you a little bit more loyal towards us. And to also pay for these forts yourself. Don't make me pay for your own forts, sir. I am giving out these provinces because I don't really want to core them up. Let them waste their admin points rather than me. Since our cores have finished coring up now we have more than five provinces in the brazilian colonial area which means that we have a brand new colony as of 1.31 we can choose between a crown colony a private enterprise or a self-governing colony i highly recommend you make this into a self-governing colony which means it's going to colonize by itself a lot faster and we can switch it over to a crown colony later on to get more influence in this beloved nation we have some special interactions that we can do with these bad boys here and we just need to invest money honestly i'm getting so much money i don't even know what to do with it so i will definitely just uh, invest everything i can invest in them for now meanwhile we're getting another province here so we can attack these other boyos right after we've attacked uh, these boyos taking out these natives and taking their two provinces essentially means that we can colonize the colombian part way faster and we'll be doing the same situation in the south we're gonna get a colony here adjacent to these three provinces and then fully annex them also. What do you know? We can get our third colonist now with a settler chance of plus 5%. And like I said, we'll be sending this bad boy right over here right now. No idea where Mapuche is, but they're definitely gonna get Kobolage raided. Please tell me it's these guys. It's not. Let's see where they are. Oh, they're over here. Okay, that's actually really good. Hey, a brave new leader with actually pretty decent pips. I love that. We've discussed covered diamonds in the new world and that's gonna give us a bunch more money that we already have a lot of but take a good look at this massive chat over here 72 years old and he's still alive man holy schnapples we've also managed to fill up both of our idea sets which means we got the policy for 20 extra settlers as well which in turn means we're getting 106 settlers per year with 26 percent new settler chance that is massive by comparison the portuguese are 
only getting 85 and they are the best colonial nation, quote unquote. Our second colony has been established and will make this also a self-governing colony. It's a strange one because half of its country is here and the other half is uh, by the northern parts. But this is going to be actually the juicy area. And there you go, the third colony is established as well. How fitting three colonies of the Great Mali Empire on the South American continent. Not sure what exactly happened here, but uh, Mutapa is a one province miner willing to become my vassal. And uh, look at this, they still have all of their juicy cores here. Whoa, my world just got a lot bigger, everybody. Look at all these colonizable areas with the juicy, juicy trade goods. I think we're gonna have to pay a visit to the Indonesian parts of the world. Meanwhile, we've colonized this area here and we are making a new colony in this province. Kill the natives, of course, and we will be attacking actually the uh, nation of Quito in a little bit. I'm just going to be exploring everything before the attack. Wait, what? France? France is establishing a colonial empire? What kind of ideas do they get? They have exploration as their third idea. Fair enough. Also, what on earth is happening in Europe, boys? Austria randomly took the province of Krakow from the Commonwealth. Brandenburg owns provinces not attached to it so that means they kept the Ansbach inheritance and eventually integrated them. Livonian order is surprisingly still around and an absolutely huge Khorasan. Wow. My favorite part about E4 is the realism. Look at these beautiful musketeers here whilst Brandenburg is stuck in the middle ages boyos. Time to put these musketeers to use. We will be attacking Ichma and we will be taking some of their provinces so we can make another colony in the Peruvian region. Meanwhile, we can get even more colonists established near Mexico so we can start munching on to the Mexican lands. I honestly don't want to bother with these guys for too long. I'm just going to take four provinces so I can actually make my colonial nation here. And at the same time, I'm going to start my conflict against uh, the nation of Sofala. We're also going to sell some titles beforehand and seize some more crown lands, thus getting even more land overall. And guys, look at this sexy little colony over here. Because of this, we can actually do the first circumnavigation, and we have assigned one of our navies to do so. This is also an achievement that you can get in case you don't have it. Meanwhile, all of our colonies over here are basically colonizing the coastline, preventing anyone else from taking anything from us, and from even becoming a colonial power, except France, I guess, but we will deal with them at some point. It is time to attack Sofala, and we will be taking back our cores from them, make sure we get a decent general in charge of this army, and and six shock is pretty decent. I would have preferred some fire pips, but it's all good. They don't have guns yet, so their troops are going to melt compared to ours. It's cute how Malindi actually came to help the, their allies, but sadly, I'm not going to allow that. We really need to take all of the uh, lands that Sofala has, so we get a proper foothold in this area of the map. Outnumbered, but definitely not outgunned, we obviously are going to win every single engagement in this war without any sort of an issue. Also, I am quite surprised by the size of this nation, so Fallout really got massive. I don't even know how they managed to get their independence from Kilwa in the first place. Remember that they start as a vassal. This peace deal looks fairly good to me. I've basically given back all the cores that my vassal Mutapa has, and I even took one extra core. I guess I can make it my own personal land. Let's bring these boys back home as we will be shipping them over to Asia very soon. Our colony here needs a few more friends alongside it. We can also use our extra colonists to colonize the Ivory Coast before the Castilians colonize everything. And we can use this guy to kill off the natives too. A few more courthouses doesn't hurt also. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Abu Bakr's achievement as we got our fourth South American colony. Nothing can be easier than this, of course. And aside from that, look at the amount of gold mines we actually managed to get boys we got another one in the united states lands but aside from that we even managed to get gold in the province of inhambane here which is like a 0.03 percent chance which essentially means that we've got the majority of the world's gold supply as the rest of our vassals mutapa i.e has a lot as well the only gold mines we don't own are the ones in ethiopia kilwa and a few other ones around asia but if we get 5,000 likes on 
on this video, I'm gonna do a third part where I will make it my own personal achievement to own all of the gold mines in the world. Also, if you want to check this save game out, I will post this on my Patreon page. So if you are a patron, you can check the save game and maybe even continue the game yourself if you want to. I also recommend you guys check out my Twitch channel and I'll see you in the next one. And I want to give a very big thank you to all of my channel members, Patreon members, as well as my Twitch supporters. I really wouldn't be able to do this without all of your support. You guys are absolutely amazing.